Hello everybody, myself Maruti. Welcome you all to Ram Maruti Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain a topic from real numbers and the topic is how to prove that root 2 is irrational. Okay. So in this method, in this concept, I am going to take contradictory method. To prove that root 2 is irrational, I am going to pick contradictory method. What is the meaning of a contradictory method? Simple. The one what we are supposed to prove what it has to be proved you take the opposite of that one the one which has to be proved as what you take the opposite of that one then as we have taken the opposite start working on that one right as we took it as wrong wrong guessing wrong assumption we will reach to a contradiction what is the meaning of contradiction a point where we are going against to the laws or the facts of mathematics as we have reached to contradiction that is against to the laws of or the facts of mathematics then we say that our assumption is wrong what is our assumption we took the opposite of the required question All right so as we came to a contradiction we say our assumption is wrong and what it has to be that is it is true All right now let us apply here he is asking us to prove that root 2 is irrational as we are supposed to prove it as irrational, here it is said, prove that root 2 is irrational. We said, to prove root 2 is irrational in a contradictory method, right, let's assume that root 2 is the, what is the opposite of irrational? Rational. Root 2 is rational. And we know few rules of rational number, right? According to the definition of rational number, a rational number should be in the form of P by Q, numerator and denominator. So, what is the rational number we took now? Root 2, we assumed it root 2 as a rational number. So, root 2 also should follow the rules of the rational number. That is, it has to be written in the form of P by Q. What are the other rules? The first point what you have to remember is P comma Q are integers. This is the first rule it has to be followed. If root 2 is rational, it has to follow the condition that p comma q are integers. That is the first one. The second one, p comma q are coprimes. This is the second condition it has to be followed. If root 2 is rational, then p comma should be P comma Q should be co-primes. So what is the meaning of co-primes? So we have to remember that if two numbers are co-primes, co then highest common factor is only one. Highest, right, common factor of P comma Q should be only one. If one is not the HCF, highest common factor, then please remember that P comma Q are not co-primes. If they are not co-primes, then root 2 is not rational. You have to remember. So our logic is only this. We, you know, as I said to you now, we took wrong assumption. What is the wrong assumption? Root 2 is rational. If it is rational, P comma Q should be integers and P comma Q should be co-primes and P H K H C F highest common factor of P comma Q should be only one. So let's point out that one. If the highest common factor is more than one, then P comma Q are not co-primes and root 2 is not rational. Then we reach to the point that it is the contradiction point. Let us work on that one. So to prove that one, let us take that that root 2 is equal to P by Q he has given. Now let us take this one to the other side. So root 2 Q is equal to P. Yes, we have simplified. Now you box this one and call it as equation 1. Now logically in the process, I am squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. I wantedly, I am squaring on both sides. It's a process of solving. So whole square is equal to whole square. So here we are having root 2q and this side we are having p. Right. So now squaring on both sides, the square gets it. We get it as 2q square is equal to p square. Okay, now let's do one thing, right? So what we do means q square by, I'm taking the 2 to the denominator, p square by 2. Okay, what did you get now? So what we are able to see means when 2 is dividing p square, we are getting some answer. We are getting some quotient. Means 2 is exactly dividing p square. How do you know? We got the answer, some answer, man. So what does it mean? 2 
is a factor of p square how do you know simple answer 2 has divided p square and we got some answer what does it mean when 2 is a factor of p square then only we will get answer we got the answer means 2 is a factor of p square then which implies 2 is also a factor of p how do you know that right 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 or we can say 2 divides p square 2 will also divides p square we can work on like that also it is up to you you can call right 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 okay all right 2 divides you can say like this 2 divides p square 2 divides p then 2 is a factor of p yes this is the point what i have reached okay how do you say that 2 divide 2 is a factor why because 2 is dividing p square and 2 divides p also therefore 2 is a factor of p now let's take this one now this is explanation right i like to give explanation explanation i like to give explanation to you see here if 2 is a factor of p right suppose example example 2 is factor of something like 20 i said example i'm giving you 2 is a factor of 20 then how can you write can we write that 20 as 2 into 10 yes right suppose if i say 2 is a factor of something like 2 is a factor of something like 60 i said 2 is a factor of 60 can i write that 60 as 2 into 30 yes now what we said 2 is a factor of p now can i write that b as 2 into something else like this as if like 2 is a factor of 20 means we have written as 2 into 10 30 2 is a factor of 60 means you have written as 2 into 30 now 2 is a factor of p means can we write 2 as sorry p as 2 into something else yes i am taking some variable m that's what the point is now let's go for it let right p is equal to 2 m what is that m there m may be any integer m is any integer okay now here comes now p is equal to 2m we have taken now what is p just now we got it earlier so what in the in the place of p what we can write in the place of we can write it as is equal to something like 2m how did you get in the place of p we can write it as from equation one from equation one we are able to write that in the place of p we are writing root 2 q now as usual when you get the square root there we have to squaring on both sides squaring on both sides i like to square it on both sides if you square it whole square is equal to whole square here we are having root 2 q and we are having 2m now let us simplify the square gets in it becomes 2q square is equal to 4m square okay now please remember let's get back to the condition hcf of p comma q should be what only one if it is not that we say that p comma q are no co primes and root 2 is not rational now as i said part of checking i got p 2 is a factor of p means one we need only one but we got two here okay two is a factor of p we don't know whether it is a factor of m or not sorry q or not we don't know that let's start checking that one so what i'm doing i'm bringing that uh, four underneath this underneath this it becomes 2q square by 4 is equal to m square let us simplify ones and the twos q square by 2 is equal to m square now if you check it out 2 is dividing q square 2 divides q square yes how do you know it is dividing q square and we got some answer man so it is dividing now 2 divides q when it is dividing q square obviously it divides 2 also suppose assume that so i like to take an example uh, 2 divides 4 square you know 4 square is nothing but 16 so when 2 is dividing uh, 4 square can't to 4 divide 2 also yes man it's obvious in the same way 2 divides q square then 2 divides q also then what we can say 2 is a factor of q also so see here what do you have you got that 2 is a factor of p and 2 is a factor of q means 
2 is a factor of now if you check it out if you call this one as equation 2 and if you call this one as equation 3 from equation 2 and 3 what we can say right 2 is factor of p and the q right so if they are co primes highest common factor should be only one but we got two as the highest common factor two is a factor of p comma q what does it mean that p comma q are not co primes right so p comma q are not co primes how it is possible if they are rational if root 2 is rational but still if you say that p comma q are no co primes highest no co primes not co primes then it is against the rule so that's what it says if p comma q are not co primes what do you say then what do you say that root 2 is not a rational right why because it came to a contradiction right because because end of the, it came to a to a contradiction it came to a contradiction what's the contradiction why because if it is uh, prime if it is rational the highest common factor should be only one but what is the highest common factor we got two is the high common uh, right factor of p comma q therefore it came to a contradiction which implies our assumption is wrong what is the assumption we took right root 2 is rational is the assumption what to it therefore what we can say which implies root 2 hence our assumption is therefore root 2 is irrational hence proved guys hope you are able to understand this is the only simple logic we have taken wrong assumption right if they are if the root 2 is rational we should have highest common factor of as only one so we got a 2 as the factor of p and we got 2 as the factor of q so 2 is the factor of both p and q means 1 is not the highest 2 is the highest so if they are co primes we should not get a 2 as the highest so we got a 2 as the highest so why did we get a 2 as the highest means we made wrong assumption what is the assumption we did root 2 is rational so our assumption is wrong and we came to a contradiction therefore we are saying root 2 is Hope you are able to understand. In this channel, I have been placing both math and science videos. 